What is up guys? Good morning and welcome back. Today we're going on a Porsche road trip. Well, it's a short road trip. We are taking Kayla's 944 to my friend Elliot's place, 944 barn. We're gonna keep the 924S here uh, simply because we're getting ready to drive cross country in this car. We're hitting the road to Phoenix, Arizona in just over a week in this car. So heading two hours each way uh, I figured I wouldn't do. Uh, it'd be awesome to cruise both of these cars there. Um, 944 camp just ended this weekend and Elliot is having an open house at his shop. He just built a shop. I was gonna say a new shop, which it is, but he didn't even have a shop before. So he's had about 50 944 platform cars at his place with a business based around that platform car with no shop. Been working outside for years now. So we just got a shop up and he's having an open house at the end of the 944 camp weekend, which was the tail of the dragon trip with all the 944 guys. We didn't get a chance to make it. We were here doing Chattanooga Motor Car Festival things this past weekend. But today being Sunday, we decided to drive out to Blairsville, Georgia to visit with everybody and be a part of the open house. So it'd be awesome to take both cars to kind of bring our versions of these cars with us. But like I said, I want to save this car. I want to just not, you know, push it too much. We're going to load the 944 up. We're going to hit the road along the Ocoee River on our way through northern Georgia. It's a beautiful drive out that way. It's kind of sprinkling right now, so hopefully the sun comes out. <music> All right, we stopped and got coffee and we're on the Ocoee right now. Sun is refusing to come out, but it is a nice day nonetheless. It is sweatshirt weather. These cars love running in this weather. We're right here on the Ocoee Lake. Sunday morning, not bad. And it's October, so the leaves are changing, which is great that they change here in Tennessee as well. Gives us a uh, reminder of home back in the Northeast. All right, just a quick stop on the side of the lake. And now to continue on to Blairsville. So, <laughs> Beetlejuice. Hi, bud. I'm coming. Beetlejuice. All right, guys, we're here at Elliot's place, 944 barn, where, as I mentioned earlier, he used to do all of his work outside here in his front yard, but he just built a shop, and this whole open house is kind of 
the ending of their tale of the dragon trip, but also an open house for the shop. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna talk to Elliot. They brought pizza, but what a dream, what a dream set up. I mean, to go from working outside with an unbelievable amount of cars and parts to building a shop and having an indoor place to actually be able to work. All right, so this is the second half of 944 Barn, his parts collection. We've got 924 Turbo here, which is so cool. Really tidy looking car. 924 Turbo, bunch of 944s. Got another 924 Turbo here with a wild, <laughs> wild bolt-on stuff. But the Turbo giveaway is the front grille here and the hood scoop. So that and that are 924 turbos. I love that front grill look to it. 944s, just parts cars everywhere. Got a 968, got another 968. 944, another 924. So many parts cars. X race cars, Porsche twists, Hug down a little bit, roll cage, got a turbo valence in the back. Obviously the turbos had those. This is a really cool looking car. And the 924 race car, this thing's pretty sick. Full blown race car. Most of the really cool cars here are Elliot's, which is crazy. All the ones parked in front of the actual shop are Elliot's cars. So it's pretty crazy, the collection he's amassed. But his business, 944 Barn, is obviously 944 and 944 platform cars. So he sells cars, buys and sells cars. Obviously, he's got a massive parts collection. So he deals in parts. Building the shop was vital because now he's got an even larger covered space for parts storage and inventory. So Elliot is definitely the 944 plug. I feel like anyone worldwide who's in the 944s knows who 944 Barn is. All right, Elliot's 968 here. This is one of my favorite cars in his collection. Just painted it. This thing, I mean, he drives this thing hard. He just took this out to the Dragon on the 944 Camp Drive. This thing's so sick. You guys may remember from previous episodes from when we've been out here at Elliot's place, but this is one of two of his Silver Rose 944s. Arguably one of the rarest 944s they made, and he's got two of them. One of them he's definitely gonna restore and put back on the road, maybe both of them. The Silver Rose 944s are definitely collectible, so it's really cool he's got two of these things. I mean, it's kind of obvious like how you're gonna lay stuff out, but right. you know, you've got a double wide bay door, you've got a single bay door. You're planning on having two lifts? Two lifts, yep. One on this far end, yep. and one on that far end, and then just an open space in the middle. In the middle, yep. That's basically gonna be it, but I'll have some workbenches and toolboxes and things like that along this wall over here. Um, and that's basically, basically gonna be it for like this main shop area here. But all this back here, 
we specifically built for part storage. Yeah. That's the main thing I do. So these two rooms are going to be decked out with shelving. So you know there'll be shelving out to here, and going around yep. out to here, yep. and same thing over there. But it's come a long way already. I mean, oh, man, yeah. I feel like it was just a couple weeks ago you were sending me photos of just the site work being done. Right. And then you said this was going to be an office in here? Yeah, so this will be an office. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to get laid out, but we'll have some type of uh, counter space with my little desktop, and then I'll do like parts orders, packing and shipping. Yep. This room over here is probably going to be an extension of that. I have like a huge massive pile of cardboard boxes, you know, all mm -hmm. different sizes and whatnot. So that's probably going to be here. Um, and then I have extra storage. Space oh yeah, the stairs. stairs. Yep. We have AC. We got yeah, I noticed the split units. Right. So you got one in here for the office. Yeah, that's there's great. one head here. And then you got two out here. a separate unit for these two heads. Okay. Yeah. Wow, man, that's crazy. I forgot you said you were going to have like AC in here. I know. With the bay doors closed on a hot summer day. Yeah. Man, those things are gonna change your life. I've worked at a lot of different shops and none, none of these shops have ever had AC or heat. Wow. So it's and like, you work in Florida and Georgia shops. Florida and Georgia shops. So yep. it's usually like just melting hot, sweating wow. to death. Yeah. I've worked at shops that have had like big fans and like swamp coolers. Yeah. Um, but H humid though. Doesn't you know? cut it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My dad built these steps at his house and brought them here and assembled them all. Oh, so, so cool. He, he already stained them and painted them and everything at home down yep. in Florida. And more storage. Yeah, so this, <laughs> the plan is to just build shelves. Um, yeah. Try to strategically build the shelving based on the parts. Yeah, I can see rows, you know what I mean? I yeah. can see rows. Just rows and rows. Now, for those who are interested in the specs of this building, because I'm sure a lot of people are going to ask. So this is a 40 by 40 space, right? So that's what, uh, 1,600 square feet? Yep. And the sides up to the eaves are... 16 feet, so this is like eight feet and then eight feet. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the the depth of this, but it's not quite it's half. Not quite half. Yeah. In terms of metal buildings, there's different styles of construction, and this is called ladder beam construction. Yeah, the vertical beams. Right, because they all have these like ladder steps. I learned all this stuff like just recently, like <laughs> yeah. as we were like ordering everything. Right. This is, it's a huge le learning curve for me. Um, ladder construction, this is all galvanized steel, so it's not like the big thick red iron beam construction. That would be for like if I had a, a wider span. Yeah, but for 40 feet, this is what they can do. If it yep. were wider than that, it would have to be the big red iron yep. beams. Now this here is closed cell spray foam insulation. Yep. Um, one and a half inch thick average. So it's, it, it goes from one to two inches thick, but average one and a half all the way up and over. From testimonies that I've read, uh, the one and a half inch thick average is like perfectly fine for- For keeping it cool. Keeping, keeping it cool, it keeping it warm. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and it actually strengthens the building apparently, like it stiffens it up. Man, what a dream though. Yep, yeah. it's a dream shop for me, it really is. Yeah, and it's here now. Yeah. So cool, man. Congratulations on pulling the trigger. Thank you. Well, dude, this has been awesome. Thank you for having us out. Of course, and, uh, yeah. glad you came. But to come see, you know, the new spot. I mean, the dream 944 barn, the actual 944 barn. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Not the little guy up in there anymore, but the actual barn now. That's right. I'll have to help you laser cut a sign. Yeah. For, somehow, cool. somehow, even, even if it's inside, right. maybe above the small door here, we can come together on something at some point. That's do a 944, idea. like make it out of acrylic so it can be outside maybe. Oh uh, yeah. And you did want to mention for the sake of the YouTube episode yeah. that you're yeah. not working on people's cars yet. Not working on people's cars. <laughs> I am still just selling parts and fixing up and selling cars. Those are the two things I do. Yep. Selling parts, used parts, not new parts. Maybe one day, but not now. I used now. to work on people's cars all the time. I love doing it, but... Um, the parts sales thing took over and, and now I just don't have time. Yep. That's all that it is. So yep. if I can get back into the groove of things and hire someone, I might work on people's cars again. But not, <laughs> but not now. Not yeah. yet. <laughs> I wanted to make that clear right. <laughs> before people start calling. Yeah. Well, Elliot's been nice enough to put together uh, like a, a set of just parts that might be contingency parts for the 924S on the road trip to Phoenix next week. So we're also here to pick some of that stuff up. Just stuff I can mail back to them if we don't use it. Just like a fuel pump, DME relay, common 924, 944 stuff. Hopefully we won't need any of it. 
Uh, but we're going to take stuff anyway because even if you can get it at a part store, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, it's nice if you got it and you can just fix it roadside and keep going. He's basically sponsored the 924S project with a lot of stuff, but also the road trip in that way. So I brought one of the key rings I made. Oh yeah. So I'll have to give you one of the key rings. Okay. So. All right guys, so you know this is the 924S cross country tour key ring that we're doing on the road trip. So the first one, going to Elliot. Awesome, thank so you. So that's a, that's a black and red acrylic. Yeah. So obviously it's a core, red core. Right. Laser engraved. But yeah, we put the 924S logo on there and cross-country trip black awesome. hardware black leather strap cool love it so we're going to take those with us too. sell them with the shirts but i'll save you a shirt cool. as well yeah this will go on my key for my 924s oh perfect from the tail of the dragon trip that's right yeah i wanted to give you the first one cool thank you dude thank you for everything man <laughs> that car first porsche obviously this is kayla's first porsche but right. the red one was my first porsche and it was really cool to have remco fly over from the netherlands and we got a chance to kind of design the suspension and to have it perform or exceed the expectations I had for performance in that car. Um, I like how you great. say it's your first insinuating like there will be another one. I feel like there'll be another like one, that. yeah. Whether or not it's a 944, 924, maybe a 911 one day, who knows? But yeah, <laughs> I, it won't be my last Porsche, that's for sure. And we had a great time hauling across the Okoe and Kayla's car as well. This is an ongoing project, obviously. Coilover's next. That's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching and to Elliot for all the help. Thank you. Hit him up thank on Instagram guys. and congratulate him on the new shop. But thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Next few episodes are prepping for the 924S trip cross country to Arizona. We're doing Dallas pop-up meet Wednesday, October 25th. And then I think Saturday the 28th in Phoenix, then on the SEMA from there. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.